Hello, welcome to the beginning of me streaming and recording some uh, Thief 2 fan missions. I've played a ton of uh, Thief and Thief 2 over the years, uh, but I've never really dug much into the fan missions. The most I did was about seven, eight years ago, I don't know, a long time ago now, maybe more than that. I played through the T2X campaign that uh, was released a long time ago and had a lot of fun with that. And I've always meant to get through, you know, go and dig out fan missions and start playing with them and just see what people have made. And now I'm going to do it. So this is Death's Cold Embrace. I believe it is three missions or something like that. It just was, it was released sometime last year, so it's pretty fresh as far as uh, fan missions go. Let's see what it's like. That's a weird title for a button. Um, so, I'm going to play on hard. I don't know anything about these missions. The general difference, if you've never played Thief, uh, between normal, hard, and expert is on normal, you have a lot of hit points. You're allowed to kill basically anyone who gets in your way if, if you want to. And there's generally fewer objectives. You, hard, you've got to collect more loot. You generally have more objectives. You're not supposed to kill civilians. If you kill civili civilians, it's a mission failure. If a guard is angry with you, though, that's fine. Expert is generally don't kill anyone. Monsters, zombies, they're fine. You can, you know, well, zombies just, you can't really kill anyway, but uh, not easily. But um, people is just allowed. And generally, expert has even harder levels of objectives, which we'll see on the missions. I'm not sure why there's difficulty setting here when there's also a difficulty setting before each mission. But we'll find out. Let's get into it. Okay. This is normally where they show the objectives that change between the difficulty modes, but uh, Act 1, Prologue. Let's try it. So I have 2,000 gold, I start off with just my blackjack and my sword, and I can buy almost anything here. I really don't know what I'm likely to need. Generally, oh, generally water arrows are handy to have. I wish they cost 50 each. And a few broadheads. And a healing potion in case I mess up, which is likely, and a flash bomb in case I mess up. I need to get out of a tight situation without hurting anybody. Repair is always good. Let's see. Do I want noisemakers? No. Gas arrows? Probably not. Moss arrows? I usually get by without them. I'll use them if I pick them up, but I generally don't want to buy them. They're a bit too expensive. Let's get more water arrows. Let's get a few more broadheads in case I want to need to shoot any Monsters, I have no idea what to expect in this mission. There could be anything here. So, let's grab another flash bomb and another rope arrow. Now, I don't think there's a briefing for this now. Or if there is, it's not working. I might have to check if there's supposed to be a briefing afterwards. But, uh, let's start the mission. It's been a while since I banished the trickster and my dealings with the hammers have returned to normal. How quickly they forget the favors done for them. It may have to do with much of their attention being focused on a splinter group calling themselves mechanists. I've learned that their leader, Karis, is the one who made my mechanical eye when he was still a hammerite. Karis seems obsessed with glorifying the builder through the advancement of technology. Just what I need. A bunch of religious zealots armed with the latest gadgetry gaining power in the city. I was contacted yesterday by a wealthy merchant in Dayport named Richard Fairbanks through a series of mutual acquaintances. The target of his job proposal is the apartment of a recently murdered inventor named Mark Miller. 
Just before he was killed, Miller sold a valuable formula for the manufacture of synthetic emeralds to Lord Allen Highwater, whose family's rivalry with the Fairbanks is well known throughout the city. Fairbanks suspects foul play, and he wants me to visit Miller's workshop and find anything that would be useful in giving him an upper hand over the wealthier and more powerful Lord Highwater. The inventor's home is still under investigation by the watch, so I'll need to be careful visiting the crime scene. After I'm done, I'm supposed to meet Fairbanks at the Trickster's Tail Pub. I was immediately suspicious of his motives. The last thing I need is to get in the middle of a blood feud. But since saving the world doesn't cover the rent, the prospect of actually getting paid well for a job has a nice ring to it. I just need to be on my toes. New objectives! Get inside Mill's workshop and find something that will be useful to Lord Fairbanks. The workshop is reportedly in the basement of his apartment. Once you have something, find Lord Fairbanks at the Trickster's Tale pub to get your payment and see what kind of additional work he offers you. Find him without being noticed by anyone inside the Trickster's Tale before the meeting. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm sneaking into the pub. Find at least 6,000 loot. Don't kill anyone tonight. And when you've met with Fairbanks and fulfilled your loot goal, get back to the south gate so you can head home. Uh, let's have a look at the map. I have no idea what this, where this mission is set. Uh, we're in Dayport. I guess we're at the south gate. On the Trickster's Tale, if that cutscene was anything to go by, it was near this fountain. I don't know where Miller's place is. I guess we'll find out. Fairbanks Manor. Electrix number one. Pale Pad Alley. Baker. Wonder if they've got any bread for us to steal. Hammer Chapel. High Priest. This is already a complicated uh, map. Gate may be locked. Right. So there's the Trickster's Tale. Wait, so the is is get inside Miller's workshop. Reportedly in the basement of his apartment. So his apartment, I didn't see anything labelled as Miller's apartment on this map, which is immediately a little confusing. But there is this section here called apartments. I'm guessing there's somewhere in there. Somewhere to the east, then. What's my compass? So we're facing north, we're at, I'm guessing, the south gate here. Nothing ever happens on this job. Eh, could be worse. So dull. Just patrol around in circles. You'd rather be sweeping streets again? At least then I was meeting people. Yeah, but the wrong kind of people. <sighs> boring, boring. Oh, the guards are having fun tonight. So, there's, judging by the map, there's a lot of places to, to look around. I don't know how much of this is actually going to be accessible to me. And I really don't know what the volume is like uh, of the game compared to my sound, but since sound is pretty important in Thief, I figured I would have it reasonably loud. Going in and out of the eternal flame, the flame that kept forever burning by the watch in memory of Captain Lewis Riley, slain whilst apprehending the Dayport cat burglar. Well, you know, maybe not so sure. Who's making the racket? Nobody. Oh, it is an eternal flame. Look at that! It lit itself again. Ha! I like that. <laughs> nice. Well, let's go to the electrics. Oh, 
What's that squeaking? Is there rats here? I didn't see any rats. What's in this chest? A noise maker arrow. Sounds like it's right. Maybe they're above me. Oh, back door. Okay. Let's see what's up the ladder. Ladders are notoriously problematic in Thief, so uh, I always quick save before getting on them. Just in case you die. <laughs> Oh, he's coming in here. <coughs> well, at least I'm going back out again. <coughs> but do stay away from the fire. <coughs> Sleeping on the job. Through the bed. Well, what arrows and a book. November 20th. The work has finally begun on replacing the old backup electric system with some better equipment. The new generator was delivered along with its regulator. All we need is the battery and the zone capacitor, and we should be good to go. December 6th, still waiting for that battery. The zone capacitor arrived yesterday. We got it unpacked and found out it needs some kind of special newfangled wiring. So I definitely forgot about that. It should be here in a few days. December 9th, neither the wiring nor the battery have bothered to make an appearance. The guys are making bets as to which one will arrive first. I'm betting on the battery. We ordered it a month ago. December 15th, the wiring arrived. I'm out five gold. 27th. Oh, the builder's ever-loving mercy. The battery has finally shown up. The delivery company had sent it to the guardhouse in the old quarter. The old quarter? They couldn't afford this system. Eventually, one of those numbskulls over there noticed this huge, giant, monstrously oversized metal object in their station house and thought it was an oil container. It wasn't until they couldn't find the fill nozzle that they realized what it was. The thing didn't even belong there. Those guys are tapped in the head. January 2nd. The generator is installed and working well. The regulator is regulating, and amazingly enough, the zone capacitor is almost capturing the extra electrics and storing it in the battery. The issue is the wiring. There is some kind of cross interference with it which is causing the zone capacitor to randomly zap objects around it, including the battery. We have to get this fixed before it does any real damage. January 4th. Still working on the wiring. I don't care what Sarge says, it is bloody cold out there and I'm going to have some kind of heat. January 7th. I think I understand the problem. I'm going to have to relocate at least one of those wires. Why couldn't this stuff have shown up before the snow? All right, that's, I don't know, suggesting, oh, there's a lot of chest, suggesting to me that there's uh, something about the electrics that we can muck about with for some reason, which eludes me. Maybe not. Oh, guess mine. That's handy. However, what is out here on top of this lookout? Another rogue arrow. Well, there's a little tiny ledge we could crawl along there. I'm not really sure that there's a point. I don't think... I'm not sure I can get on that roof, and I don't see anything over in distance to climb on. Oh, there's a wall. We could climb on the wall, but uh, that's just an alternate way up here. Right, let's save and try to go down this ladder without killing myself. Uh. See, yeah. Well, I'm not dead. I'm only a little bit hurt. I think I'll, I'll, I'll take it. But um, yeah. In the inn. Who was that there? I saw something. <sighs> well, doesn't seem like anything now. What's that? Guards! Guards! 
guards! There's an intruder Leave. here! Don't let him... He's right here! Now, if you're summoning guards, I don't really want to be there. What's that sound? Ugh. Nothing. That was a mistake. I thought they were civilians and would ignore me. They were civilians who were scared of me. Ah, that's locked. Good. Angry guard downstairs, but I'll worry about him if he comes upstairs. Some gold. He's not coming here. Come back out here, you tapper. There's someone creeping about. I'm scared. I think he's got me. Here it comes, right between the eyes. Don't think you can hide for long. There's nothing in here. Uh -oh. He's around there somewhere. Ouch! I see him! Out of my way! There's a guy behind me. Well, that was successful. Ow! Where's my healing potion? Come back there when the guard's given up. There's no point just standing around watching, waiting for him. I normally would, but uh, not while people are waiting and watching. Okay. Uh, footsteps somewhere up there. Basement. With, uh, spiderwebs, that's not a good sign. So I was just in... That's not the right map. Where was I? I was just in the Harlequin Inn, and I think I'm in the basement now of, Fair, of uh, Fairbanks Manor? Yeah, this map is not very clear for me. Unless I'm in this section here. There's no spiders here, are there? I do not like the spiders and thief. I also can't see a damn thing. But I would hear them if they were here. There's something. There. Oh, there's a weird... I can hear those electrics here, but not here. Huh. Alright, I think this is just ordinary cobwebs rather than giant spiders. High voltage, nothing here. I just picked up a flash bomb, which is nice. There's what looks like a switch, but uh, I'm just not active, so... Frost today. Huh? Where did he come from? Uh. Is there a doorway over there? What? Did they see somebody in the pub? They must have seen somebody in the pub. Okay. 
Fair enough. Oh, there's a whole street here. I guess I'm not going back to the pub just yet. Nothing here. Alright. So far, so good. Drunk guard. Hello, Benny. Oh shit, he's got a helmet. <laughs> but I can knock him out anyway. Nice. Uh, who? Oh, it's a hammerhead. You may or may not get upset seeing this uh, knocked out drunken guard. Apparently, did not see them. What was it? Uh... Nothing you need to worry about. <clears throat> wow. Why send me onto the streets? Uh, it's not a bottle, it's not a valuable bottle anyway. There's <clears throat> the Dayport Chapel. What's this place? Brother Thaddeus, High Priest. At least I know where, where I am on the map. Just here. So I guess the apartment's to the north, which is kind of where I'm aiming for, but uh, there's all this side nonsense. Should not sleep on the job. <clears throat> Thou hast no loot for me to pickpocket. I say I don't know whether any guards come around here, but what do you know? Oh, they're not a guard; they're a civilian that's so drunk. They don't even notice they're walking into a lamppost. Let me solve their problem! Hmm. Who are you? Nobody. Wow. Hmm? Pickup radius is really weird on these people. Okay. Streets are a little safer. I still haven't found my actual objective, but I'm not bothered yet. I want to go back and see if there's any loot in that pub that I missed. With all the hollow blue, but uh, it should have calmed down by now. <laughs> and see a little bit about the lights on. So I think the man I knocked out in the street out there was uh, in this pub. And, or maybe it was even the public game. Hey! Loot! Now let's stop this accursed music. And see if there's any... Bottles worth having. No, it doesn't look like it. Bottles worth stacking on the other hand. Yay for uh, late 90s, early 2000s physics. Alright. Nothing of interest in there. Anything under the... Nope. What's that? Oh, this is the bar lights. Okay. Back upstairs. Get you out of the way. Now, I think I looted both these rooms already, but... Uh, just don't check. Yes, it is. Okay. So I'll leave the downstairs of the pub that's problematic. Right, so let's go back to where I just was. Now I'm being I'm being a little more 
obsessive about knocking everybody out and cleaning them out of the way because it uh, just saves a lot of trouble. Often, I mean, if I'm familiar with the level, I definitely won't do that. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I won't, otherwise. It's just uh, a lot easier. Does this door even open? It's got a handle, it should open. But it's not interactable. Okay. It's often easier just to clean out random patrolling guards. There's gotta be someone in here, right? Nope, somebody over there. But I don't see if you ever get into the chapel. It's got lights, but uh, I don't know if it's got anything up there. Where did he go? Oh shit, did somebody just see me? I think the guard up top just saw me. He suddenly started moving hurriedly. Anything? Anyone? No? So I see a balcony like that and I just want to get up there. This one just came out the door there. And it's walking away. Oh, maybe he's just patrolling up there. Going in and out. Come back here, damn it. Nope. They are suspicious of something. Come out and fight me. I don't think so. I'm not very good at fighting, I'm a thief. That does not look like wood to me. I think the guy's coming back this way, so I'm gonna knock this one out. Yeah, there they are. Knock them out as they come by, and then I'll deal with the one upstairs who. You just wait, I'll find you. Lay eyes on the taffer who had the bright air there, filling out reports. He's gonna be sorry his mother ever taught him how to read. Uh... <laughs> One way or another, I'll find you. She's suspicious again? She's definitely, uh, nerves on edge there. How long were those stairs? You think you can hide from me? No, no, no. no. I think you just are confused. Damn it. Hold it down. <laughs> that confused him. You can't hide forever. I don't need to hide forever. Hold still! <laughs> Come outside, the weather's lovely.
That's right, look over there. You think you can hide from me? I do. Bad day for you, looks like. Thanks for the arrow. Whoops. Well, I'm not having a great deal of luck dealing with that guard. But they missed me, so I'm not taking any more damage. It's... Whoops, hello. Come back here, damn it. Oh, there's another one. Just what I need. You'll escape. <gasps> I have no idea where I am. But I'm sure the guard does doesn't either. Oh yeah, he's smoking me up the chimneys. Which where am I now? This must be No, it's not the Harlequin Inn. Oh, maybe it's over here. No, this is after it. Where did I come? Just over here. It must be in this little courtyard. Is that the baker then? Let's see if this guard is still coming for us. No, yes, no. Well, that body must have made him suspicious. where I want you, which is anywhere but hunting me. What did? Have you seen this bunny? No, sir, I have not. That's a nice safe. safe. Uh, Biltmore Apartment 3 key, what's this letter say? Oh, well, money first, of course. Then the letter. Bosley! This is the key to the inventor's apartment. We've had to lock it to keep whatever that thing is that Geordie saw locked in there until the captain gets back day after tomorrow. Captain will know how to handle this so we can recover the body and begin investigating proper. Until then, keep this key in the safe and don't let anyone have it until I ask for it. Sergeant Wilson. Whatever that thing is that Geordie saw locked in there. Okay, so this is the key I needed anyway. And there's a thing locked in the apartment. Which they don't know what it is. That sounds like fun. Let's get some more arrows. Not that I will be assassinating anyone with them, but uh, what's this? What's this book say? Why can't I read your book? Why is your... No, it's not readable. That's weird. Okay. Anything up here? Healing potion! Nice! I, I could do with another one of those. January 13th. Miller found Miller the inventor was found dead by a neighbor early this morning. In his living room, apparently stabbed to death. The neighbor reported hearing weird noises around daybreak and went to investigate. She found the door unlocked, and on opening it saw Miller on the floor just inside the door in a pool of blood. She claimed to hear scary noises coming from the basement and feared that the killer might still be there, so fled to the guard post to report the incident. 6.42. Officer Carlson went to investigate, and when he arrived on the scene, he claimed to see a hideous figure dragging Miller's body down the lift shaft into the basement. He said it made odd whirring and clicking noises, and swore he heard it talk, but said it sounded 
Like a machine, but also like a woman. He says he felt threatened by it, so he returned to the watch office for reinforcements. Personally, I think he had been nipping something, even though it was early morning, but who knows? That inventor probably made some weird things. I'll send a couple of officers over there right away to check it out. 726, only one man came back from Miller's place. Charlie's nowhere to be found. I've got a team of men scouring the streets with lanterns. Well, that explains the guards. Uh, but the fog isn't making it any easier. We don't want to panic on our hands. I'd call it a stroke of luck that none of the others were around when Benson came hurtling through the door like the trickster had come collecting. But damn it, he's my best man and now I'm afraid he's gone off the deep end. White as a sheet and gibbering like he'd, had, like he'd half a tongue, it took me nearly an hour to calm him down enough to where he was even aware of my presence. Even after that, he just sat there staring off into the distance with wild eyes, nearly jumping through the roof every time the tapping door opened. The alarm for my desk clock began whirring and I thought he was going to cry. Through the whimpering and dark mutterings, I could only make out that there was apparently some sort of dangerous she-beast prowling through Miller's basement. Builder knows what's happened to Charlie. Benson thinks he got out, but couldn't be sure. If there's anything in this world that could turn a big man like Benson into a frightened child, I sure as tough don't want to meet it. I'm going to wait until the captain returns from leave tomorrow to ask him how we should go about handling this and recovering the body. For now, I had them lower the lift to the ground floor and turn off the power to it to keep the thing from crawling out of there until we can figure out how to approach the problem. Well, more evidence of a thing there that I have to be wary of. Is there anything out here on the uh, balcony? I doubt it. No. Another roof I probably can't climb onto. I'd like to try, but I'll hurt myself if I fail, and it seems... Well, that's creepy. Why is the door closed? Uh, let's check for... Get up on the desk. Get up on the desk. Let's check for anything behind the feathers. Classic place to hide stuff. Of course, having it behind those is also another classic place to hide things, but... Uh... <laughs> Why can't I lean forward? Why can't I? Yeah, what? I'm in some weird stuck position. Alright. <laughs> Nothing. And now I realise why the uh, having spaces jump and block is a problem because now I have no way of jumping while I've got the sword out. And I wanted it then. Let's change that later. Alright though, there's something in his apartment. Probably the same thing that killed him. Oh, his apartment is somewhere up here. He'll be in the basement with his body and I'm sure I have to go to the basement. This is the east gate. Here we have... Classic flickering horror light. The Biltmore Apartments. Huh? Freeze! Oh, hello. Muscle. I'm moving lots of muscle, thanks very much. Oh, you saw me there. Get tired now, you fat old slow guard. Charge! Surely you've lost me now. This is your last chance. Yes. Step out here. Oh, that's good to know. What's that sword for then? No, it won't. Encountered a thief. Come back here and fight. Chased him slowly. Got knocked out by him. And then gave up looking. Maybe you'll just neglect to mention it in your report, huh? I don't know how noisy the snow is, which is kind of why I'm jumping at them before hitting them. Just in case it's noisy enough that they'll get alerted when I'm right behind their back and swing around with the sword just in time to make it awkward for me. Now here's what I wanted to do. I just remembered while I was busy uh, chasing the person around there, I wanted to see if I can jump on the heads of the statues. I can. Can I get up here? I can. Is there loot up here? 
I would be very disappointed in the uh, design of this mission if there is not loot in this attractive location. There is a tiny door that does not open. There is... Can we get up there? Seems a little too high. A big hammer. There's a window that also doesn't open. But nothing resembling loot. I am disappointed. Such a tempting spot for uh, experienced thieves. Alright. And that, that house didn't open either. Okie dokie. So, that was a guard that was guarding the apartments. I should have realised that uh, built more apartments here on the left, which is where our victim, uh, the murder victim, or death victim anyway, I'm not sure if it was murdered so much as killed by something. He lives in there and we've got the key to his apartment. So although I was saying, hey, classic horror sign here, this is probably just like the cheap apartments. What does it say? Greenwood Apartments Vacancy. It's a motel. Oh, well, someone's having, uh, enjoying their music. That is an open window there. Is that... Is that wood? That looks like wood. There's another open window. With conveniently shuttered... What's this lot? note? Mr. Soldis! Your neighbours have been complaining to me about loud music coming from your apartment for extended periods of time, including late evening hours. They claim you leave it playing while you are out, which is most inconsiderate. Please remedy the situation, as I'm tired of the complaints. Oliver Gladwell, Landlord, Greenwood Apartments. Is that... Sounds like a zombie there. Well, anyway, I don't think I can open this window at all. But I can, I believe, get upstairs there. Let's try a rope arrow. That's not a rope arrow! That's a rope arrow. Well, if anyone was uh, trying to be sneaky around here... Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear, that did not work. That's a disappointment. Alright, uh, let's try... this side. That's more like it. Should be... Th there's three windows here that are on that floor that are open. Are there any on the top floor that are open? No, they're all closed. Come on, grab, grab the rope. On the rope. That ledge is being a nuisance. On the ledge, then on the rope. Thank you. Oh, there's... There's someone standing there. And there appears to be glass in this window. Maybe. <laughs> no? Well, there's definitely a zombie. That's... Unfortunate. No? Not a zombie, because I can knock him out. Somebody very badly drunk, sounding like a zombie, with a frying pan. Alright, I'm happier that it's not a zombie. God, that music. All these bottles. Oh, he's got a Latin. Fancy that. No valuable bottles here. Any valuables? <laughs> Let's take my repair back there. So I won't need that one. And... Wow, he has been drinking a lot. Or he has never been cleaning up. So many bottles just get stuck on them, that's unfortunate. Wow. Made a mess of his apartment here too. What's this? Oh, another bottle stuck in a hole in the wall. Okay. 
That is a fruit. I'll eat it. It gives me a bit of health back. It's quite nice. More bottles. The door doesn't open. Aha! A bottle that's worth money and a chest with two locks. Better have something good. And I can't open either lock. He didn't have a key, did he? I didn't see a key. Let's just check, check him again. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's got a key. In which case, how do I open that? Is there a key hiding somewhere in the room? On this shelf, perhaps? No. I'm getting stuck in all these damn bottles. Clean up after you so I don't have to clean up after you. You're not paying me enough for this. You're not paying me anything, but you're not... I mean, enough loot for me to steal to make it worth me cleaning up after you. But it's still worth my while to not get stuck on them as I just walk around. Surprisingly quiet bottles, too. I don't that's noisy. I'm a little surprised by the settings here. Ah, no key down the sofa. Okay. Nothing. Get these bottles out of my feet. Candlestick. Not valuable. A uh, picture. A crate that I can't pick up. On the wall, but no key. Still tripping over bottles. Another well, doorway that doesn't open. No sign of a key there. Huh, where is this key then? Where's your key? Uh, I'm not going to spend too long obsessing over it, although I probably should. I'm supposed to be collecting, uh, what was it, 6,000 loot? How much have I got so far? I've collected 485. So whatever's in there, I'm probably going to need it. Alright, well, before that, let's try some acrobatics here. Yeah. <laughs> there is another open window. Let's... Nope! Oh! Uh, that wasn't a run, Garrett. That was not a run. That was supposed to be a run. <laughs> do I still have that other healing potion? That I picked up. I do. I think it'll be time for that in a second. <laughs> God, that music! <laughs> Let's try this again! That's a bit more like it. Thank you, Garrett. Alright, so this is a slightly better kept apartment, even though by the looks of it, it should connect. So you've got electric lights that work. And loot. And a book. 11th Jan. I wish I could afford a place as nice as my brother's. He has a dorm and a nice carpet, not like this rundown tenement. The walls in this place are so thin, every night when Mrs. Robinson next door takes a bath, I can hear the water running through the walls and it wakes me up. She's a really lovely woman. I get goosebumps when she says hello to me when we pass in the, in the hall. I wonder. 12th Jan. I brought home a small saw and a drill from work. The boss won't ever notice they're missing for a day or two. I'll wait until she's done and gone to bed, and then I'll get to work. It'll give me an outlet for the, fr outlet for the frustration and rage I feel over being subjected to that blasted music from the idiot down in 2A. I heard some of the others have complained about it too. Uh, complained about it to Gladwell. I may as well speak up about it too. And while I'm at it, I'll mention the weird ghostly noises I hear coming from 2C. I look across into the broken window and sometimes catch a glimpse of a figure carrying a blue lantern. Just what I need, a ghost for a neighbor. Alright, so, uh... Well, there's no... This, this door also doesn't work. Don't put handles on doors if they're not going to open. Game design rule. 
Also, Thief had <laughs> d different designs for the doors that didn't open, and that was the design for one that did work. Okay, so this guy won't have the key for the ghost. God, that music! <laughs> oh, he had a little bit of loot. Something under here, is there? No, it's just the foot of the bed. Yeah. Okay, I'll make the jump back. As long as I run, I can. I don't know where this guy's key is. I will look for it at some other point in time. For now, let's see if we can just safely get back down here. Nope! Well, technically, I suppose that's safe. Well, shut. Oh, that's the Okay. It's uh, been just an hour. I think this is a good moment for a break. I've uh, hurt myself rather badly. Let's just quickly find my healing potion. Wait, I used it already. Whoops. I need another. We have reached our primary objective. Or at least uh, parts of it. We need to get to Miller's workshop, which is in the basement, and his apartment is number three here. So I will save here, and I'm out of tea, so I'm going to need to get a refill on that tea. Uh, it's also going to be very cold in here. I think I left the bathroom window open or something. So I will leave you here with this moody music for a few minutes.